Hey there, this is your facilitator Kumail Radha for this course Decorators in Python. In this video we will be discussing chaining decorators in Python. We had already discussed um, the decorators importance, um, the syntax, the workflow, few examples. In this we will be going further deep and we will be discussing how to chain multiple decorators. This concept is very easy and uh, very important also. A decorator can be created, another decorator can be created and both those, these decorators can be chained together in another function. For example, the function that needs to be decorated. So for example, if you are looking to decorate, uh, maybe for example a greeting, we can create multiple decorators to make that greeting work. Let's discuss this in the form of example. Here I'm creating a hash a decorator that takes in arguments and key value arguments and prints hash 50 times before the execution of the function to be decorated and after the function uh, execution of the function to be decorated. The syntax remains the same. Inside a decorator function there is another function and then we return that function and in that function we take we are actually getting the, the function to be decorated and before it we are printing hash 50 times and after 50 times and let's execute this okay executed now we are creating another decorator function that does exactly the same thing but instead of hash it prints dash so now we have defined two decorator functions one is the hash hash a and the other one is the dash i'm not going deep into the uh, syntax of the decorator because we had already discussed but in case if you need just uh, a brief idea this is your first video in decorator we take in the function as an argument and return another function with some additional functionalities so here like you can see we are returning the, the function taken as the argument and before it we are printing dash 50 times and after it dash 50 times okay so let's execute this another function created show it uh, prints the greeting that's being given as a argument and we are decorating it twice once with the hash a decorator and then is with the dash decorator so let's execute this and move forward and now i'm passing hello into the greeting function into the show function that I created and when I just run it it is going to print hello with hash and dashes 50 times each. Now this decorated or this chaining of decorators two decorators with it this there could be like many decorators that could be chained together and it works like the first decorator the second decorator the third decorator the fourth decorator so the, the sequence matches. In another words, we can create the chaining of decorators like this. Create another variable, show again, and we passed in hash. Here. Inside that, this we passed the, the another decorator that we need this to be decorated with, and then the last final function that needs to be decorated. So this is exactly the same as this. As I just I'll told you that uh, the order of the decorator matters. So if we just reverse the order, we pass dash first and then hash a and we decorated show with these two and then once again we execute this with the hello there so it's going to print dash first and then hash first chaining of decorators is similar to multiple inheritance where in multiple inheritance the function takes in attributes or gets uh, inherited attributes from multiple parent classes so here it can get uh, different uh, a function can get multiple in statements from multiple decorators so and how we do it we just include them one by one in decoration line with decoration syntax and the function to be decorated I hope you have a clear understanding of chaining decorators the concept is very simple it's similar to multiple inheritance where in multiple inheritance the child class gets um, attributes from multiple parent classes and uh, here 
uh, the, the dec function to be decorated can get multiple functionalities from multiple decorators and the way it gets it depends on the order in which the function is decorated may you have any queries feel free to contact me you can contact me via email by twitter by on, on youtube me and if you're looking to get connected you can find my blogs on medium you can email me and again you can contact me on youtube me and as well as twitter you can also subscribe to my youtube youtube channel in the upcoming video we'll be discussing debugging decorators so this is related to debugging of decorators we'll discuss it and uh, hopefully you will have a very good understanding of all the com concepts related to decorators thank you